Okay, everybody. This here's Jerry. Welcome to Fish Jones Beach. Tonight we're going to do something different. We're going to try to rustle up a dozen crabs. All you need is one of these, one of these, and a cooler to put them in. Over here, we're get a dozen. We probably can get more. They were to really stacked up the other night. What we're doing is we're just walking. him in the cooler. I'm gonna try to have a dozen by the end of the night. Hopefully it don't take too long. What you want to do is you want to walk up current. Let's see if we can get this guy in the net. Nope. There we go. There's a bunch of jellyfish in there too. You can see they're really nice size. Of course. We'll put him in the cooler and we'll take a walk, see if we can round up another one. to get you. They gotta be four inches or so. Maybe four and a half. No, let's grab another one. Now this is probably not the best net for the job. You want something probably smaller, lighter, sleeker. Uh, this is this net is a little sluggish. We got two, a little one in that roundup. We'll let him go. Try to scoop up another one in the meantime. There we go. We got a double. Two in that that round. The other night there was a whole bunch around here. Big ones, big, big, big ones. Let's go put these guys in the cooler. 
see what we got here. So far we got four medium to big crabs. They all got beautiful claws on them. I'm going to round up another, we're going to get a dozen, so what's four minus twelve? Beats me. <laughs> Alright, let's get some more. Again, what I'm doing is, the crabs are downstream. The current is flowing to me. So I'm walking against the current. This is for two reasons. One, because of the clarity of the water is maintained. And the other, hopefully the crabs swim into the net rather than away from it. That's a rock. You can see this. You can see the spearing jumping. And I slowly make my way to the body of crab that I've been pecking at. There's a few down there. We're back here on the crab grounds. And there's quite a few. This will be easy with two hands. But you gotta use one because we got the lantern so you can see what's going on. Ooh, that's a nice one. There we go. Maybe we could do a double. Let's see what we got. We got one in the net. And we're going to try to get two. So, I see a couple here. Very quick. There we go, we got two. Maybe we could get three. Probably gonna lose one, but we'll give it a go. I think they're starting to get spooked now and swim into deeper water. The smaller ones seem to be closer in. Alright, let's unload these and round up some more. That looks like about a half a dozen. So, six more crabs. And we'll be good to go. Ooh, look at them claws on that guy. Let's round up a couple more. Okay, we're back on the crab grounds here. I don't see as many as there were. I might be spooking them. But there's still plenty out there. See what we got. I'm looking for a big one. Let's there's a good one. Oh we got away. And more over here. Big old spear. Get my hands wet. Look at like a big old jellyfish. Let's see if we can round up another. I think they're starting to get spooked now. I don't see as many. They're just the smaller ones. Oh wait. Here we go. There's a few over here. Ooh, that was a big one. Just floating right by. Hmm. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay. There's. I can't tell if that's a rock or a big, big crab. There's a couple. 
They're pretty close in too. They're big ones. Let's see. There we go. We've got three in that round. Three more. We're going home. We'll maybe do a little fly fishing. Who knows? There's looking for a big, big, big one. I don't see any. That one got some nice claws. I think we lost two. No, we lost one. We got one. Now let's go drop these guys off and get back out here. Put them in the cool. Maybe we'll run across a big one on the way back. Who knows? It's dark. It's about one o'clock in the morning. And the tide's just about coming in. And about two hours before the high, two hours after the low. They tend to congregate along the rocky shoreline here. I'll explain what's going on in a minute. Alright, let's get these guys in the cooler. We got three. We need three more. I wanted to be out here all night and let the smaller ones go and keep the bigger ones. Actually, that little tiny one we're probably going to let go, so we need about four more. You can see them pretty good in there. Okay, let's get back out. Now, as far as regulations, you can keep up to 50. In New York State, and that was a quick one. You keep up to 50, and they have to be, I believe, four and a half inches or four inches. I gotta check that out, but uh, we'll keep them four inches and bigger anyway. But what we got going here is this is a rocky bottom, the water's coming in, and there is a a hole behind me and the current rips through here so these guys there have been a lot of spearing around so these guys are sitting on the bottom sticking their claws up looking to grab rogue spear and swim by let's see if we can round up a quick grab here and I'll get back oh, almost lost him should we put him back or should we go in for seconds? Let's go put them back. Okay. He got really nice claws on him. Ain't the biggest crab, but sure got some nice, nice claws on him. Let's go get him in the cooler. And then we'll get back out there now. And keep in mind that you can't keep the females with eggs and uh, I may stay out here after this video and let the females go anyway and just keep the males but we're just gonna round up a quick dozen for production purposes all right we're okay I see a couple here they're definitely I think they're getting spooked because there's fewer and fewer each time I come out here well, I'm just not walking further down as I should. Sometimes you miss one and spook off a few. I'm just going to get a few more. I like this guy. Don't want to lose him. That's a nice one. Okay, here we go. There we go. That's a good one. Let's go get them in the cooler and uh, get another. Before we get going, I'll show you the difference between the males and the female crabs. You can see my coolers downstream or down the current. They all have beautiful claws on them, that's for sure. That might be 10. 
walk a little, a little further down. This time, maybe they pushed a little to the left. I don't know. The current's slowing up too. They sit there in the current. size ones, that's for sure. There's one. Oh, yeah. This guy. There's two of them on there. Is that a male and a female? No, it was a female. Female birds. You can see, I think we're getting further and further away from the cooler. Pretty good here, I think. I haven't been here too long, so I thought I'd play a little bit. Oh, bonus. You don't want to stick your hand in there. These guys will give you a good nicking. about that? Three. One swipe, three crabs. Can't beat that. And these are all female too. Now, I'm not sure. But we have, we have here is a, a breeding situation because all these females seem to be hanging out with each other. I think that about makes a dozen now. a good swipe. Rounded up three and one. Now let's get these guys in the cooler. We got these guys. Gals. Gals, I'm sorry. These gals. soon. Now we got our dozen crabs. And this is how you hold them from underneath. Okay, there's a male over there. difference. The one over here is a male. This piece over here, whatever the heck it's called, the straight or the female has that big broad piece over there, the uh, 
abdomen or something like that. And then there's the male. That's the female crab. That's the difference. And when they have eggs, that'll be all. You'll see them. That thing will be just packed with eggs. But uh, let's get these guys out of here. That was a quick dozen. Not Probably am gonna let the small ones go and get a few more big ones. But I just wanted to show you can round up some crabs really quick. Uh, well, we'll get a couple more and then we'll pull it tonight. How's that stuff? I'll tell you what to look for if you're gonna look for crabs. Look for crabs like this. Now, if you're gonna look for crabs like this, there's two ways to do it. One is to go out fishing and see if you catch a few. I mean, see them while you're fishing. That's what happened to me. But then I started to realize that there's three things, just like fish. You got, you want current, bait, and uh, structure. And then the crabs will congregate around that stuff, especially the the rocky bottom they look for and uh, something to move. I might have to come back here with the, the fly rod. The rocky bottom is always good. Changing contour and bait. Alright, let's get a couple more quick if we can. That last volley we had three I think. One scoop I made up for ones that got away. Current actually slowing up now, so it might be receding into deeper water. I didn't see too many of this pass. But uh let's wait out. See what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back up on land and walk back up if current back down. Maybe see a few. Okay, what I did is, I'm actually walking in up past where I kept my cooler. I don't know, maybe I scared him a little bit away, but uh, I'm making my way down. I think it's, the tide might be turning now. There's a small one. But, uh, oh, he swam off. Maybe I'll try a little deeper water. Oh, this guy's on the top of a rock here. That one has eggs, I think. I want you to see that. Maybe show you what not to do. Okay. Now, I was explaining the eggs. Let's bring us to shore. I'll show you what I mean. But definitely, you want to let the ones with eggs go. I'm sure a lot of you folks know this, but the ones that don't, for science purposes, This is a female. And she has the eggs. This is another way. These are You see that egg sack there? There's the, those are all eggs. So we may not, as I mentioned earlier, maybe it was a breeding situation. I think they're just feeding now. Because this one's pregnant and the other ones aren't. Well, not pregnant. She, I guess she is. Got eggs. But uh, those you gotta let go. So we get her back in. Thank you all for watching. Really appreciate
appreciate it for subscribing. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And I uh, hope you enjoy getting some crabs. Oh. Two. A lot of people, they set out crab traps. I'll bet you they fill up a crab trap here in no time. But uh, this is actually easy. There's a rock or something there. And, uh, let's get this guy here. We'll call it a night. We'll call these before I'm going to let the small ones go. The smaller ones, they're all beautiful crab. Thanks for watching.